Hey, today we're going to be going over the Celebrate UFED Touch, um, a forensic imaging device for uh, mobile devices, SIM cards, and um, memory cards like SD cards and micro SD cards. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and power up your device. Once your device is powered up, we can go ahead and log in. And uh, for instance, this one's just agent, agent. Usually it's just, that's the default. Once you log in, then it will boot up. While wow, that's booting up, let's go ahead and pull that aside and let's look at our cables. So as we open up our cables, um, today we're going to be imaging an iPhone 6. So we're going to go ahead and grab the iPhone 6 cable. We're going to pull that out of the case. Set that aside. Bring this back over. And you can see we are now powered up and it's already um, in the auto detect mode. So once we connect the phone, it should auto detect for us. And if it doesn't auto detect, then we can go through um, the different types of phones and models. So here's our iPhone 6 that we need to image for our client. We're going to go ahead and plug in, in our source that USB cable that we just put out, which is uh, cable number 210. We're going to plug that into the device. First, you want to make sure is go ahead and boot up your device. So while that's booting up, we can go to the next step. The next step is you're going to want to take a thumb drive because we're going to need to write this um, image or uh, backup whatever you're doing to a thumb drive. So we're going to take that thumb drive, and in the target side of the Celebrite, there is a USB spot to plug in that thumb drive. So when that is plugged in. You can see our iPhone it has not fully booted up. What I like to do when I image phones is I always go to settings and we go to um, display and brightness. And then you see where it says auto lock. We set that to the never. Um, so once that is there, then we need to go to, um, I like to turn on airplane mode. Um, just so it, when you're imaging the device, they don't get a text message or a phone call. Um, you know, it's better to have airplane mode on while you're imaging. So once that is in, we're going to go and plug in that iPhone. You can hear it already sync, and you can see right away, boom, it already picked it up, and I'll even show you Apple iPhone 6. So let's go ahead and choose that as our device, and we're able to do a logical extraction. Um, we can capture uh, images. Um, and capture screenshots. So if you want to go into their mail settings and you know get some screenshots of their mail settings, you can do that. Sometimes that's good when you're working on a forensic case. Um, but uh, that's all there really is to it. Um, you can select logical extraction, and then we're going to choose um, removable device. I mean, I'm sorry, removable drive. And we select that, and it's just detecting our thumb drive over there. Um, once it knows that we have a thumb drive, now it's going to give us all these options. And now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that for you guys. Um, you can see we have, um, we can select the phone book, SMS, um, MMS, email, IM, calendar, app data, which is really key, um, pictures, videos, um, audio, of interns, uh, call logs, which is very good, and browsing data. So I usually just do select all because you want to, um, when you're doing a collection of a f device, you want to get as much data as possible. Um, so I usually just select everything um, and then go ahead and start the process. I'm not going to start the process here just because it can take a long time depending on the size of the phone. I've had 16 gig phones take an hour. I've had 32 gig phones that take 15 minutes. I mean, it just depends on how much data um, that the user or client has. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please leave your comments below. But yeah, that's how we image a iPhone using the Celebrite UFED Touch um, system.